Welcome to our 2023 summer holiday to Croatia. First thing we need to do is get some breakfast before we have the flight. This is the plane we're going to be flying off on and it's only about a two hour flight from Manchester to Croatia. And this is the first time ever I've been on a plane where it's not been full and you can actually pick any seat you want. Halfway through the flight they brought us the food and I think we were one of the very few that actually bought the food on the flight and now I know why but actually it was quite tasty and we'd ordered the same thing for the flight back so anyway it was okay so it's time to land at Dubrovnik International Airport the airport is located approximately 15.5 kilometers from Dubrovnik city centre and it's the third busiest airport in Croatia. It also has Croatia's longest runway, allowing it to accommodate heavier long haul aircraft. The airport is a major destination for leisure flights during the European summer holiday season. So we've reached that time when hopefully our bags have followed us to Croatia and I'm pleased to say they did. So this is our hotel we're staying in, the Hotel Albatross here in Kavtat. So let's uh, have a quick tour around and see exactly what the facilities are like in this hotel. So down these steps into the main foyer and then we'll go up and have a look at our room so let's have a look in this room then so first of all looks a bit small there's the bathroom Shower, Charlotte's not going to be happy with a shower, she always likes a bath. Oh my word, Will's not going to be happy either. It's a bit small. <laughs> we had to wait two hours for this to get cleaned. So uh, let's have a look here on the balcony. Looks okay, nice view. So at least we've got a reasonable sized balcony. And now we're on the back of the hotel, looking over the tennis courts and the sea. One of the biggest annoyances of our little room. Every time you walk through the door, you get a face full of door because it hits that. So that's our room. Not what we expected after paying all this money, but it's not the room you're really interested in when you're on holiday. It's the views and what you can get out of it. We've also got a safe in our room and you still can't get away from plumbing when I go on holiday because the safe is made by Ideal. I wonder if it's the same company as the Ideal Boilers. So that's the end of our travelling and our first day to here in Kavta in Croatia and what a beautiful sunset and view we have from our hotel balcony. Welcome to day number two with another absolutely stunning day and an absolutely beautiful view. Well this morning me and Charlotte have decided to walk over to Kavtat town 
and Will's decided he's going to the gym. So what we're looking at is our coastline and the big white building you can see in the distance there, that's our hotel. So this is Kavtat. Kavtat was founded more than 2,500 years ago by the Greeks who gave it the name of Epidurus. The old town is a United Nations Educational, Scientific and Culture Organization, World Heritage Site. Kavtat is the most southerly Croatian resort of all. It's located around 20 kilometers south of Dubrovnik and only 22 kilometers from the border with Montenegro. The reason why my wife chose Kaftat is because it's an exceedingly pretty town. It's a great place to base yourself if you're after all the sights and culture of Dubrovnik, but you don't really want the hustle and bustle. So that's why my wife chose it, but it is absolutely stunning and I'm so glad she chose it. So this is our hotel here and there is a walking path all the way through to the main port. So on the first day, we went all the way up here. We got to here, where I am now, and we walked all the way around there. Well, really, we could have just taken a short cut across there and got to the main front. But that was a really good walk around. So if you do come into Kavtak, this is a bit of a peninsula. There is a short cut, you have to walk all the way around to get to the main front. That's the end of another very, very hot day here in Kavtat in Croatia. Tomorrow we're going to check out Dubrovnik, where they filmed Game of Thrones. This is our water taxi that's going to take us to Dubrovnik. Well, hopefully he gets on with it, because I believe if you don't get to Dubrovnik city early, there are massive crowds wandering around and you can't film anything or see anything. So we are on the first taxi over to Dubrovnik very, very early this morning. So hopefully he gets on with it, gets us there and I can do some filming without there being thousands of people getting in the way. After our gentle little sail up the Adriatic Sea, we finally reached the port of Dubrovnik in the old town. So first thing we're going to do is find somewhere to have a little snack and something to drink because it's absolutely boiling and then we're going to be tourists and get some sightseeing done. So shall we get on with it? There's quite a few of these water fountains around the city of Dubrovnik but uh, I don't fancy really drinking out of there because all well, the birds seem to be drinking out of it as well. So I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> so let's see if we can find some filming locations for the Game of Thrones. It would come in handy if I actually knew what I was looking for.
but it's not coming back. The captain's tired of risking his life so King's Landing lords and ladies can get drunk on better wine than they deserve. While we were stood outside the Grand Hotel Emporium, we saw all these supercars parked outside. So this seems to be a supercar car rally organised by a company called Lions Run, which is a German company, which is basically an entertainment company, what organises these trips every year. That's about as much as I know, but it looks good fun very very expensive with the places where they're staying and the cars that they're driving in <laughs>
Now it's time to leave the stunning city of Dubrovnik behind. It's time to get back to our hotel for some lunch and possibly an afternoon snooze. That little Will couldn't wait to get back to the hotel for his afternoon snooze. I thought he's supposed to be a super fit athlete. So he keeps telling me anyway. Well, did you notice any filming locations there for Game of Thrones? I don't have a clue. Just wandered around and took pictures where everybody else was taking pictures, so I guess I must have got a few of them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it because Dubrovnik is a beautiful place to go and visit. So if you are in Croatia, make sure you go and have a visit. Watch Game of Thrones first though, because you might see places where they were filming. Anyway, time for tea. Let's get on with it. So this morning... Will's going out there on a jet ski. I think Charlotte's going with him. Might be, might not be. But I'm definitely not. Can't swim, scared of the water. Said it many times. Plumber and gas engineer. Scared of the sea water. Anyway, let's get on with it and see if we can find somewhere for Will to hire a jet ski. This could go wrong. So this is a place we've found for the two of them to go jet skiing, which actually is at the sister hotel of our hotel. Go and get her, Will. Here, baby. God didn't want us on the. They didn't want us on the jet ski. God did. So they were told, don't go that way. Do not go that side. 
go this side. It's the one that Charlotte did. She's over there. Where they said, do not go. So she's in the main shipping lane. So they went her over there. They've been screaming at her, shouting at her, pointing at her. But no. She's still over there in the main shipping lane. Only my wife could do that. She never listens to me. She never listens to Will. So uh, why is she going to listen to some guys here who run the jet skis? So that's where the ferry goes. That's where the sea taxis go. My wife is just unbelievable. While we've been in Kavtat, there's been a lot of work going on on the port key side or the seafront where they're rebuilding it all and making it look really nice. But there's just no health and safety at all here. <laughs> Here's guys walking around with high vis vests on, but that's about it. We've seen some guys in flip flops walking around doing the jobs, and there's also guys snorkeling and working under the water while they're building this quayside. I bet you wouldn't see work like this going on in Salford Keys in Manchester or in the Albert Dock in Liverpool when they were doing all the refurbs. So if you're good at swimming and you're good at building Cavtat's looking for workmen. I'm not putting my name down. Not a chance. Also, when we were walking back to the hotel, we were watching this guy cutting this tree down. And he did get a bit airy when he was cutting the pieces above this, which I didn't manage to film. It was a bit scary. It nearly knocked himself out of his little yellow box. Now, I believe this tree was struck by lightning a couple of nights before we got here in a big storm so uh, he was cutting the tree down before it fell down but it was still a bit scary so health and safety what health and safety there isn't any in Croatia for all our electrician friends out there is this dangerous in our hotel room so it does have a cover with magnets on it which you stick on and every time we come in it's on the floor so we sort of putting a few screws in it so we get it in it so let's take you for a tour around our hotel watch out for the dodgy door yeah every time face full of door 
for the cleaners. Knock on your door. Eight o'clock in the morning. What's that all about? It's supposed to be on all day. So every day we've been here. <laughs> Two of the days the cleaners haven't been in because they're knocking on the door at eight o'clock to get in. We are on the fourth floor and we do have two lifts, which are pretty snazzy. And you don't really have to wait long for them. So you can see this hotel is huge. <laughs> there doesn't ever seem to be that many people here. We'll look at the view outside another stunning day the weather has been absolutely amazing while we've been here not had any day under 30 degrees so we have a bar which you don't have to wait long to get served and there is only two bars in the place and you still don't have to wait to get served Now this is the biggest waste of space I've ever seen in a hotel. Nobody ever, or we've never seen anybody here unless they're waiting for somebody. So, uh, huge room with nothing happening. We've had no entertainment whatsoever. No one's had a go of the old Joanna. But uh, nobody uses this space. Down here is the restaurant, if you can call it a restaurant. So we're on breakfast at the moment. It's the usual stuff you get for breakfast. As you can see, there are loads of places to sit in here. There's not really that many people, like I keep saying. Breakfast, lunch and dinner are all buffy style. There's no table service here. Why is the bacon always rubbish when you go abroad? It's not bacon, is it? It's never seen a pig. So, if we go down into the basement, and the lift comes all the way down to here, this is how we get out as well. This is the gym and the swimming pool. Morning. Morning. So this is the indoor pool, which again, we haven't seen anybody in yet. Just had to step over that. So this is the indoor pool. It's a little robot there cleaning the bottom. How cool is that? So I have not seen anybody in here all the time we've been here. Let's negotiate this again. and have a look at the gym which Will has used quite a few times I've got an injury at the moment so I'm not using it and this is the gym which is probably one of the better gyms we've been to when we've been on holiday it's quite well stocked and Will's used it like I say quite a few times I've been here once. <laughs> so now we've come out of the gym. This is the outside area. And you can see that's the round room I was walking around before where nobody goes. And this room here to the right is actually where we've just been. So this is the pool area. So there you go, there's the swimming pool. 
You can walk down here. This is the outside eating place. And there's also the swimming pool just down there. And the other big white building you can see in the distance is the left or right hand side of the hotel, whichever way you look at it. That's the A side, we're actually on the B side. So again we've got outside eating here because coming up here is the pool bar where you can get drinks. And again, when you walk in there won't be anybody because there never is. So it's like help yourself to soft drinks and coffee but the waiter will appear or the bartender will appear when you want an alcoholic drink. So there's supposed to be food here all the time and there isn't. The closest we've had to food is there's been some fruit out there a few times. So this is what we see from our balcony. So this is the back of the hotel just outside the pool bar. So you can see outside the pool bar there's even more places to sit and eat and again there's nobody here sitting and eating because there's no food. So in the distance there you can see our swimming pool which is the largest swimming pool around here because the two sister uh, hotels to this one the pools are literally half the size of this but the water is too cold to go in trust me it's freezing and uh, that's it. It's a bit spooky sign blowing towards us, but that's the outside of our hotel. So today is Saturday and our last evening here in Kavtat. We've come down into the town like we do every evening for the entertainment and we've found this little parade. We've actually stumbled on the 21st Kavtat Summer Carnival, which was held on this weekend, the 8th and 9th of July 2023. And it's organised by the Tourist Board and the Kavtat Mums Association. After they completed this parade down the main street on the seafront, they all boarded boats and then went sailing off into the sunset. Couldn't find out where they were going, but they were all seen to be having a whale of a time on the boats. The music was playing constantly. So we've come to the end of our holiday here at Hotel Albatross in Kavtat in Croatia. So what have I thought of this week's holiday in this all-inclusive hotel? So let's talk about the not so good things because you can't really say the bad things just not so good things first of all food so there's plenty of it don't get me wrong there's plenty of it 
there's hardly any tubes to get any of the food. They replace it constantly. It's like having school dinners. There's no themed restaurants here like we've had at loads of other hotels when we've done all inclusive around the world. Nothing. <laughs> you get what you're given, and that's basically it. The snack bar, there's never anything in it. There's only two bars, but you don't ever have to queue up for drinks. That was our room. Too small. Tiny room. Next one, cleaners. Why well, cleaners think they want to come in at eight o'clock in the morning to clean your room? It's beyond me when you're on holiday. Or is that just an English thing? Also on the bad side, no entertainment whatsoever. Nothing laid on for adults in the evenings. Nothing. We had to go off into the town every night and find our own entertainment. But don't get me wrong, it was very, very good. So, uh, while we're here, the swimming pool. Absolutely freezing. <laughs> you couldn't spend more than two minutes in it. It was that cold. <laughs> could it be cold? It's 30 degrees all the bloody time. How could it be cold? It was absolutely freezing. Another not so good thing. The beach is just there, literally, a minute's walk down this path. It's private, it's full of subjects which you've got to pay for. Don't tell you that in the grocery. It would have been nice to go and sit on the beach. It is a pebble beach, no, not a sandy beach. But uh, it's a private beach. So that's another not so good thing. Let's talk about the absolutely amazing things. First thing, what a stunning place Croatia is. Oh, this part of Croatia. Look at this. Imagine waking up to this end, man. The weather's been glorious. It's been over 30 degrees every day. We've had no rain. It's been beautiful, clear skies. The place is amazing. It's stunning. It's a beautiful part of the world and we've only seen a little bit of it over the last week. If you want to come to Croatia, Dubrovnik, Kavtat, even though they don't call it Kavtat here, what we do, is absolutely stunning. Stunning little town, absolutely picturesque, beautiful place in the world to come. So I would advise you to come. Just don't do all inclusive. <laughs> like my wife says, we're not doing all inclusive anymore. She didn't want to do it on this one. The people people are lovely. By coming into your room at 8 o'clock every morning to clean it. But anyway, people are lovely. They try and speak English to you all the time. They speak English really well. And they're really, really friendly. So the people, the place is absolutely amazing. Dubrovnik, you've got to go to Dubrovnik. Go over on the water taxi like we did, because you can get the bus from in Kavtat and it's a lot quicker on the bus not if it's cheaper but it's a lot quicker but not as good and not as picturesque as it is going across the water so make sure you do the water taxi over to Dubrovnik if you stay in Kavtat so that's the end of my holiday and the end of this video so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one cheers